Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Anyways, I don't know what that sound was. I was trying to do that like groove effect that all DJs do. Anyways, so I already filmed some of it in a different bathroom, but people were making noise in this house, so I had to move to my parents' bathroom because it's bigger. And yeah, I just thought, you know what, let me just move here. And I love using my mom's skincare products, so <laughs> bitch, best believe. Anyways, so I've already taken off some of my makeup. Um, the Morphe. The, well, the Morphe products in general leave, like leave stains on your thing, so that is why my eyebrows are currently red because I had red eyebrows ten seconds ago. But anyways, so let's get into it because. I'm okay, so I actually just brought like all my skincare things um there's more in the back but anyways so i wiped my makeup off uh with some coconut oil and some wet wipes and now i want to just wash my face and to wash my face i'm going to use the skin whitewash mini pot it's just a smaller version of the uh, um thingy and usually i just put some on my hand because it just sometimes it just gets stuck like girl just get it just be getting stuck and i don't understand anyways um yeah so i hope you guys like this video comment subscribe you know shoot with your mama if you're looking for a new skincare routine you definitely don't have to use the products i use um the products that i do use uh some of them are quite expensive like a lot of them are actually quite expensive um but yeah i'll probably uh try find like cheap alternatives for the products that i use but my mama don't care about skincare so you know we get that good good anyway so usually i just lather it up on my face like this i was hella fucking then i just go in with this cheap little thing that i got and it gets into your skin can you see all the red coming out it is your okay now that i've brought my whole wig forward <laughs> And did look at all the shit that just come off my face. That was disgusting. I was hella broken. Okay, so I'm not gonna lie to you guys and say that I definitely wash my face like this every single day. I try to, but you know, sometimes it just doesn't happen. So you know, look at oh, oh guys, that is so gross. Uh I definitely I'm really bad at washing my own face, but I love to tell people how to wash theirs. <laughs> Um, but you know, sometimes I just use the shower gel and call it a day. Sometimes I just use water and call it a day. So, you know, when I do do my full skincare routine, it is a good day. <laughs> it is really a good day. So next I'm going to go in with this mask and this is a homemade mask that I make every week basically. And I just, you know, make some for my mom, my aunt and myself. And, um, uh, I'll leave the ingredients down below for the mask and the face scrub that i'm about to use because they're both um homemade so this one is just flour some milk so i'd say like two teaspoons of flour four to six teaspoons of milk um a teaspoon of turmeric and a teaspoon of honey like you really don't need that much i just make a lot because obviously i like i want to make for my aunt and my mom so yeah we're just gonna let this sit for like 20 to 30 minutes depending on how fast it dries but i'll come back and show you guys how it is dried okay guys so while my face mask is drying i thought i should just tell you guys a quick little story because this story is not long enough to actually sorry hold on Oops. Anyways, so the story isn't long enough to actually tell on its own. So, <laughs> you 
guys so when i was nine years old this is so random but when i was nine years old i got robbed right <laughs> and so um i was in Lumpur, i was in the village you know chilling with my granny loving life school holidays yes so now you know every day my granny sends me to the shop she's like go get bread go get this go get that so i'm like i'd be Today was like no other day. She sent me to the shops, you know, she was like, with the change, get yourself something nice. I was like, thank you, granny. Like, of course, you know, treat yourself, you know. So <laughs> uh, I get to the shops and, you know, I get what I need. I get the bread, I get the cool drink. And I'm like, mm, with the change, I actually want some chappies because like a bitch got to chew. <laughs> Anyways, so cool, great. I'm now walking home. This is going to be a one minute story, imagine. So I'm walking home. On my way home, I encounter this old man, guys. This old man, like, I was a tall child, but like, let's say I was like, okay, I don't think I was that tall when I was like nine years old. I was probably like that tall, and the man was like, probably like average height or whatever. So this man comes, and you know me being my little respectful self, he stops me. I greet him respectfully, talking to him respectfully. This man had the audacity to rob me, guys. Like, imagine. So, <laughs> so he pulls up and he's like, hello, like, how are you? I'm like, good, thanks. Then this man starts going. This was all happening in Gaspedi, guys. This man literally goes, oh, meaning like, I can see that, you know, you're from the city. You're not from the village. So I'm like, yeah, you know, I live in Pretoria, Kugre, whatever. Like, I'm not going into too much detail because you're a stranger. So do you see that that is drying? Yeah. I need the rest of the face to do that. Anyways. So this man proceeds to be like, yeah, at my house, we also have a fridge. And I'm like, why is this man telling me about his fridge at home? Like, I don't care. He's like, yeah, no, my fridge is big enough to put a body in. And I was like, what do you mean? And this was like during the time, like when I was nine years old, that's when I started watching like criminal investigation shows. Like that is like my absolute passion, guys. Like I love watching crime documentaries, like I love for it. So uh when this man proceeded to tell me that he could fit a body into like my body into his fridge, I was like, this man's about to burden me. You're joking, you're joking, no ways. So then <laughs> my dumb self i'm like okay so what do you want he pulls out a plastic knife guys he pulls out a motherfucking plastic knife and he's like yeah if you don't give me like whatever you have i'm just gonna stab you guys imagine stabbing someone with a plastic knife but let alone guys i let myself be robbed by a man who was also forgot to mention he was drunk and stumbling guys it was like probably like two three o'clock in the morning not the morning oh my god in the afternoon and this guy was stumbling like two stepping like a motherfucker anyways so <laughs> i let myself get robbed by a guy with a plastic knife guys like logic literally would have stated that i'm standing there this man's in front of me i should have just pushed him and ran away but no let me proceed i did not do that i was scared i was fearful this man had threatened me with his fridge so i was like okay uh the only change i have is nine rand the only change I have nine rand is nine rand. The bread is for my granny and the chappies is for me. This man proceeded to tell me, okay, give me the nine rand. <laughs> I shouldn't be laughing. This man was like, give me the nine rand. Give me the whole nine rand. I was like, I bet, you know, took my nine rand out, <laughs> gave him the nine rand. He was like, also on top of that, just put a few chappies He's like, not all of them. I don't want to steal from you, but like, just give me a few chappies. Guys, this man did as stole chappies and nine ran from me, guys. And I allowed it. My little nine year old self allowed. Do you know how dumb that is, guys? Till this day, my family laughs at me because like, bitch, bitch, really? Nine ran in a plastic knife. Guys, anyways, so. <laughs> uh so you know that whole interaction ended and not the worst thing is is that like in the village there's people everywhere guys like people just let me get robbed like 
a little child like if you were to see a little child getting robbed wouldn't you like step in and be like hey sir like what the fuck are you doing no guys these people literally were like mind my business i'm minding my business i'm minding my business i was just like wow motherfuckers this car pulled up full of niggas and these niggas are hot also what did i know about hot niggas when i was nine but anyways <laughs> these niggas are hot and they were like oh are you okay and i was like <laughs> i'm fine guys i ran my ass home like and do you know what the worst thing is oh my god i keep saying that <laughs> i keep saying that but literally the store was two streets away from my granny's guys so i literally got robbed like on the corner of my granny's street essentially guys do you know how sad that is like <laughs> anyways so yeah i know these niggas are like oh like are you okay are you fine time they're laughing in the back i'm sitting there like guys like hikey i'm so embarrassed but at the same time like i just got robbed like like help me so anyways i ran home told my granny my granny was like you don't have to go to the shops anymore and that is the story of how i never got sent to the shops ever again <laughs> first tip um oh actually second tip because my first tip was the coconut oil uh anyways second tip is when you wash your face you should actually just wash it with cold water even in winter even in winter because it helps um well actually let me rephrase this so i wash my face with cold water um but what i do is if i'm still going to you know wet my face after what i've just done then i'll wash my face with uh, hot water but by all means when you finish doing your skincare routine guys make sure to wash your face with cold water even if it's just like a splash of cold water guys your pores need to close because hot water opens your pores cold water closes them pores and guys i don't know i also just have this thing that like if i keep washing my face with cold water for the rest of my life i won't get wrinkles um what i need to do is i am going to wash my eyelashes with this navy bliff thingy uh i'm very prone to actually getting eyelash infections which i didn't think was a thing but um my eyelashes just get clogged up with makeup if i don't wash it properly so i just oh wow anyways i just do two like pumps sometimes three and then i just go in my eye and i just you know gently moisturize my eyelashes for a minute just you know groove a little and you know just make sure i get all that shit out of my eyelashes um usually if i don't do this um then my eyelash my eyes get swollen overnight and i don't feel like waking up with a mini infection that's already happened last week i'm not in the mood so okay a tip don't wipe your face with a towel i know this is a towel but this is a fresh towel i've used two towels so far two little hand towels i don't know what these are we just basically keep them in the bathrooms to wipe your hands i don't know so i just like to use those because i know that they're just there um anyways so and don't pummel your face guys just dab you know just do the the dab reassuring things anyways let's just do that um okay so then i'm gonna go in with this homemade face scrub that either my aunt or my mom made i'm not sure who made it but anyways it's like this oat uh it's made of oats and things i don't know but it works it's bomb it just oh that was so much but anyways so basically i just like to get into my pore got this a few years ago and i just love it uh so i just do that just so i can get like extra exfoliation out of the whole thing you know just i can dry my lips off mm -mm -mm. Hold on, I think I want to do a lip scrub. Hold on. I'm just going to go make myself a quick little lip scrub. I'll be back. Okay, so hold on. Let me just close this door. Anyway, so I just made a quick little lip scrub. It's a sugar and olive oil. Yeah. So, 
Okay, now that I have finished washing my face, first thing I do, it lip gloss. I'm sorry. My lips be dry. It ain't no way. Mm, girl, moisturize. Oh, girl. Mm. This is the Jojoba Lip Therapy from Duske. It's hella cheap, but it works. Oh. Uh, just lather. And look how nice my lips look. Anyways, I just realized you guys can see like all the way up into my brain. Hi, big nostrils. Wow, what? Anyways, so now onto the actual. Oh, guys, I wish you could feel my face. It feels so soft. Look at that. Okay, anyways, so now full products. <laughs> um, so first I start with my Skin Pretty Smooth Moisturizing Gel. Um, is it a gel? Yeah, it's a gel. So I just do a few pumps of that. You really don't need a lot. Less is more. Everything goes a long way. So I just start with that. Um, that feels so good on my face. I actually did this wrong. But like, I don't have a particular order as to how... Don't forget to drag. Listen. Okay. Listen here. Drag everything onto your neck guys trust me if you don't want wrinkles on your face you don't want wrinkles on your neck okay so drag everything usually when i do my masks i drag it down to my neck guys your neck and your hand well your neck hands and face are the most vulnerable to the sun they see the sun every single day you need to keep them moisturized you need to keep them looking good you don't want wrinkles guys and that that was one thing i am <laughs> afraid of okay so then i'm gonna go in with this over what is it overnight recovery serum this is a raw a rose oil collagen serum by pearl essence so yeah oh shit this one looks like things that i shall oh i love how cold this is and always keep your skincare stuff in a dry, cool place. You don't want them to be warm. Oh, if they say refrigerate, you should refrigerate them. And this, I just, I put way too much, but usually I just tap it into my skin. Ooh. Don't forget your eyelids. Look at that. Guys are looking human again. Oh, just look at that. Back of the neck. I look so cute now. Okay. Let's just do that. Don't mind my. I just should put this wig on just before. I shouldn't have put it on the. Oh, look at that. You're going to see some redness, but that's literally because my skin, like, <laughs> that's what it does. But also, like, I go really hard. Um,. I'm not the most gentlest when it comes to like um, exfoliating. I usually go in and it's kind of bad for your skin. You don't need to put all that force onto your skin. But you know, it is what it is. I'm just going to go in. <laughs> I'm just going to go in with my uh, Skun Rose Hip C Plus. It's an antioxidant. Uh, it's kind of finishing though. Like, please get some. And I don't put a lot on, like, all these things, I genuinely put, like, one or two drops. There is no need to put a lot, like, at all. Then, you know, I just, oh, oh. Does my mom not have an eye cream? I need an eye cream. I love eye creams. So, anyways, um, this is a facial toner. I really don't know how to use a facial toner. I should probably Google that. But what I do is I just put it on my hands like this. And I'm just, oh, I just pat it on. I don't think this is how it's meant to be used. But I've seen my mom put it like on a um, those cotton wool pad thingies and just call it a day. Should be like I honestly think I am done. Then what I do is I just go in with a toothbrush, you know, do the eyebrows. Okay, so I hope you guys enjoyed my little um, evening skincare routine. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys are going to implement some of these tips. I hope you guys are taking care of your skin. Like, this is, there's no better time 
than corona to take care of your skin get your body in check you know you don't have to but if you want to this is the perfect time so this is what my face looks like watch as well anyways i'll see you guys in my next youtube video uh like comment subscribe share this to your aunts your family members you know your sugar daddies I don't know who you want to send this to, but send it to anyone. <laughs> Anyways, I'll check you guys in my next video. Bye.